Assalomu alaykum hurmatli talabalar. Sizlar bilan bugun Mirzo Ulug'bek nomidagi O'zbekiston Milliy universiteti Xorijiy filologiya fakulteti ingliz filologiyasi kafedrasi 2-bosqich magistranti Mamajanova Dildora. Ijozatingiz bilan darsimni ingliz tilida davom ettirsam. Today our topic is writing an argumentative essay. First, let's define what is an argumentative essay. The goal of an argumentative essay is to change the reader's point of view, to bring about some action on the reader's part, or to ask the reader to accept the writer's explanation of an issue. So, argumentative essay will present your claim, use unbiased evidence from the text. There are three main elements of argument, a claim, textual evidence, and counter-arguments. Let's identify them in details. So, what is a claim? A claim is an opinion that can be supported by textual evidence. For example, exercise leads to a healthier lifestyle. Textual evidence. Textual evidence is evidence taken directly or indirectly from an article, textbook, or other source. Your evidence must come from the assigned articles. For example, Min Lee's team discovered that people who engaged in 15 minutes a day of moderate physical activity minimized their risk of heart disease by 14% Person as compared to inactive people. If you pay attention, textual evidence is given in quotation marks. It means it's taken from a kind of source. What is a counter argument? A counter argument is when you counter argue, you consider a possible argument against your opinion or some aspect of your reasoning. Your essay must include the counter argument. You will have one brief body paragraph that will state your counter argument. For example, some argue that eating a healthy, balanced diet has a greater impact on health than physical activity. While a healthy diet is essential, increasing physical activity will be more beneficial for overall health. So, it means counter-argument is a contrasting idea to your own paragraph. Let attention getter. So, the let attention getter is often used in argumentative essay. You should hook the reader uh, by giving some interesting questions, quotes, or shocking statistics. For example, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. So this is a shocking statistic. Structure of argumentative essay consists of introduction, body paragraphs, and conclusion. In introduction, we will have leading or hook, background information, and thesis statement. Body paragraph will include three or two reasons supporting claim. Third, reason supporting claim is optional. And we will have counter argument, brief paragraph. In conclusion, we will restate thesis in different terms or call to action, closing insight. Thesis statement. The purpose of the thesis statement is to state your claim and provide reasons. For example, even a small uh, amount of daily physical activity improves energy levels, reduces risk of heart disease, and increases life expectancy. Topic sentence. The topic sentence should be the first sentence of each body paragraph. It means that in our uh, claims, supporting claims, we will have topic sentence that will cover the main idea of the whole paragraph. 
If you have two points in your thesis statement, you will have two body paragraphs, each beginning with a topic sentence. You will have one brief body paragraph that will state your counter argument. The topic sentence should cover what the body paragraph will mainly be about. For example, exercise can improve energy levels. Transition words. In our argumentative essay, we may use words and phrases to connect one idea to the next both within paragraphs and in between paragraphs. For example, in the first place, as well as, similar, additionally, although, however, at the same time, besides, unlike, in the hope that, in order to, in general, for example, to emphasize, specifically, as a result, therefore, as shown above, as can be seen, in conclusion, and many others. Concluding paragraph will restate the thesis in different terms, summarize all major claims, include a call to action or action steps. For example, individuals should dedicate a few minutes of each day to physical activity and they will see positive results. As we know, argumentative essay is a formal way of writing. So in formal writing, you need to avoid using first and second person personal pronouns. In more simple term, no use of I, me, my, you or your. So the reader already knows that this is your writing. Therefore, you don't need to use statements such as in my opinion, I think, I believe, or according to what I have read. We have taken some examples that will show you how to write argumentative essays properly. Right way. Physical activity is necessary for good health. So the word in my opinion should not be used here. You need to exercise. Except you, we must use people. You might think that eating well is enough, but I think that you have to exercise. Instead of you might, we should use some. And instead of I think, we will use just exercise. So that's all about today's topic. If you have any questions, you may write to me to my Telegram channel. Thank you for your attention.